down to the river this morning. The stream is extremely cold. <laughs> Get it. Anyway, I took two mistakes last night. Went out pig hunting and um, in this bush here, bush pot that we got at the back of the block of the farm, and got onto a good boar. Dog's bailing it, and we sneaked up to go and shoot it with the gun. And I was a little bit excited because, you know, me, I don't really get into many good bail ups because we don't catch many boars. But anyway, we're stalking in, and Gus got the light on him. Is it? Is it? Oh. Go closer, Josh. Go way closer. It's a boar. Okay. <laughs> but don't you hit the. Wait, go closer. No, it's not a boar. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Gotta get that. And it, as soon as he turned the light on and that, it broke, ran straight past me, so I took a shot and missed. Damn it. So he lost it. Anyway, carried on around and um, on the way home. And I decided to take a layer of my juice jacket off and um, took my jacket off and then put it back on. Had the gun on my back, forgetting I had the gun on my back. Put it on the ground, put the jacket back on and then numb nuts here, left the gun up the top of the hill. It's about an hour and a half to the top to get it, so I'm back down the next morning to go and flip and find this rifle. Stupid idiot. Anyway, things like this happen when you're dumb. Single gauge, 20 shot, 20 gauge, single shot. Um, it's got a hammer, so you can just pull that back when you want to fire. Uh, it's real short, um, very nice. I used to have one of these, but it was a 14. Um, it was a 14 and it did pretty well, but it, it was a little bit light, so this is probably a lot more stable. Um, we'll just put a bit more power behind it. So there's really no excuses of me missing that last night personally prefer something a bit long a bit longer with a bit more power for pig hunting just because like when you're out pig hunting you're doing a lot of walking you do see a lot of other animals um like a deer or whatever so if you want to shoot a deer you can probably still could shoot one with this but it's you'd have to be 10 meters um so i'd, I'd preferably my quinn and bullet he's followed down the road there he um hunts with a seven mil eight open sights and it's just straight open sights so i think it's a super light no yeah super light um but it's super light and um and he just carries that around the hill so i personally would probably like to do that get one of them I like them a bit better um rather than these short ones these ones aren't good if you're just doing it for pig hunting but if you if you are pig hunting and you want to maybe i don't know if you see it didn't shoot it then the then they cut down seven mil or cut down 308 would probably be your best bet anyway. 400. I don't know where Dad dagged things up. I could come pick you up, but there's no point. Back over here. They have gone in a nice direction for us to run down the paddock. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good dogs! Good dogs! Oh, look at his foot! Huh? Oh, look at his foot! Flip it over! Oh, look! Oh, Alright, Gus! Another young boar down, about 100 pound. Might even be a hundred, little bit bigger. 110 maybe. Another wicked jaw on him. Yeah, I'll leave it, dogs. Good. Hey. He's obviously broken his, his leg and it's healed like that. Pretty out of it. Another cracker jaw. I don't get much better in the old poo teddy region. I reckon lads, Gus, Peter. Peter's on the job what? with a broken arm. Um, yeah, a bit like the pig. Too Mickey. Too oh, yeah. Pups are just absolutely cranking. It's, it's, he caught one last week, and then she caught one this week. Oh, had a mob. And then, um, and then this fella, and then this one near took off and went for them, and then she came around and then obviously bumped into him. Big for a comp yeah. anyway, we've got a comp up this Keep weekend, so That's a good, good, good average weight board. Then you want to take the wind pipe out. But. We do it as whoever dogs catch it. That person's got to carry out the pig, so. Gus has got to carry out the pig because his pup caught it. Yeah. 
Lucky it's not too far. It's only about 100, 200 metres to farmland and then maybe 500 metres from there. I'd love to thank all my sponsors for letting me be able to come out here and do sort of stuff in this sort of terrain and wearing the white gear. Um, and my, especially out to my biggest sponsor, which is me. Um, I'm riding myself with all these flash gears, which cost a fortune, but they are good jackets. Um, the Stony Creek Pagana's jacket. They're quite good jackets because they got that. Um, they got that this stuff here, which is like quite for like when blood carrying out something when dry it just dries up and flakes off. But um. Fire.